I find this very funny, but um, you know that clip I posted on YouTube about like, like or like the when I was like smurfing on LAN for that day because I couldn't play on an A because my internet was being dog shit. Uh, you guys know that that clip, right? That got like twenty thousand views or thirty thousand views on my YouTube. I check on TikTok and someone linked it to me. Someone just took that clip, posted it on TikTok, and it got one point two million views on multiple channels. And I'm like, holy fuck, yo. That site is, <laughs> that site is so fucking stacked with, uh, with uh, just in general like social media. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, god damn, that's fucking crazy. Actually, is that is that is it just filled with bots or is it legitimately like that big of a fucking site nowadays? Adrian's new TikTok. <laughs> no, no, I was just, I, I was just wondering, man. I'm just like, what the fuck is that, man? That was, that's some crazy shit. Well, talking about Mordkaiser, I get to play against another one. Maybe I, uh, you know, make that clip happen again. It's mostly kids. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's crazy, though. Something to think about. Something to think about. Do people make money off of I think usually when you go onto social media sites that have uh, short clips like that, monetization isn't really big. The thing is, you use that the amount of viewership to direct your those people to other social media platforms that do have good monetization, right? Right, hold up, I gotta restart this thing real quick. Not a, uh, sorry, my, my game, not my, uh, oh, come on, please. When CEO? Ah, CEO is, um, in like four days, bro. Or, well, I'm heading up there four days, so. Did TikTok guy credit you? Oh, yeah, he did, he did, he did. It's cool. I was just wondering. About like that viewership, I was like, damn, that's fucking insane viewership, actually. Has reconnected. I like the way out of darkness. <laughs> True strength arises from conviction. Minions have spawned. Sure, being stupid. What, what region is OC? Oceania? Um, there's multiple people playing there. Multiple, multi, multiple countries, like in the east. I'm pretty sure. It depends. interesting so based on like what's happening here i am going to do something very interesting so i'm going to two wave crash this is something that you barely do by the way but i just i take advantage of this whenever i can whenever i realize that um, that i'm able to do something like this i'm not even gonna two wave crash i'm actually going to skip a lot of my um a lot of my early like push there so I can go in and invade this guy it'll pretty much end the whole game for him hmm interesting did a Momo rage quit interesting
Oh, he's he's in he's in our rep buff. No chance. That's funny. Well, the best thing the Amumu can do now is um, reset and then probably head to bot lane after that. That's what I would do. The more kinds of the matchup is kind of simple, chat. I know some of you guys are asking about it. <coughs> Realistically, so if you're playing Riven, right, or any champion with mobility, you just have to save your dashes for the, the moment that the champion decides to use one of the uh, abilities that you can just dodge, right? So look, you go in front of him, sidestep side, you keep on sidestepping, right? You're supposed to react the moment that you see the ability come out, right? And then the moment the moment you see it, you use your shield, etc. It's very simple. It's very stat checky. You wait until a certain point in the game to do something. I'm only gonna flash if he flashes. I don't think I need to. So we're good. Actually, you know what? I'm I'm gonna annoy this guy a little bit. You think Nullifying Orb does anything? Yeah. Nullifying Orb. Nullifying Orb is uh, very good in a lot of these matchups. The dawn will triumph. It's a low chill. Yeah, 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 but the thing is, you're, you're, it, that, even if it's like that minuscule of like a HP difference, right? It's still like very important. For example, in some matchups, it can be the. The, the decisive blow of like, oh, are you actually gonna get the kill or are you not? Like, for example, if you play against like a Jax and he W's you, the shield blocks his entire W. Right. Yeah, I can keep the wave here. Thank you. So we always run nullifying orb against Jax. I personally do it. You don't have to do it. But I think it's actually pretty damn good. I rarely a player's challenge. Don't cue the don't cue the wave. Impossible.
Are you fiber again? No, I'm getting my um, fiber line fixed up later today at like 5 p.m. So to my my games my games tomorrow should be pretty uh, pretty playable. How are the vibes today, Adrian? Oh, they're sick, man. Oh, is the Doom Challenge still on? Yes, the thing is, uh, I have my fighting game major in like four days. So I decided that to, to just practice my fighting games, and then when I come back from, uh, when I come back from, uh, from CEO, then I'll, uh, I'll keep playing Doom. Actually, if I spam Doom this whole week and I don't play fighting games, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of like fuck myself at the tournament, you know. Shall are you competing in? Uh, both Strive and Dragon Ball. I would compete in KOF, but um, you know what happened to that game. Doesn't work. There's plenty of fighting in Doom. Yeah, you think so? I think so too. That game is actually really fun. Doom is definitely one of the mo most fun FPS games I've played in a while. Especially the whole like... Uh, dynamic of like, oh, you gotta keep moving, you gotta, you gotta keep going. The thing is, like, it's very mentally taxing. As a beginner, at least. Especially if I'm playing it on the hardest difficulty right away. Very, very mentally taxing. I was just watching his Doom game play so much suffering as a viewer. Yeah, in what way? In what way? It, it, is it because of the camera movements or me not knowing how to like cycle all my weapons yet? Whoa. What part of it? Because for me, the hardest part was figuring out how to do the combos fast enough while, while cycling the weapons. It's a bit, uh, it's a bit difficult. It has modeling where you keep using the sniper and the grenades on the regular mobs. Yeah, no, exactly, exactly. Like, it's very... I, I'm gonna be honest, I've, I've played Doom in my life probably tops, like, half an hour before that, before that stream, so... Like I said, I have, like, no practice or, like, understanding of any of the weapons, nothing. Or, like, when I should use them, right? I think it takes about, like, a week, probably, until you figure out everything. How do you trade with him? This pass is so OP. Well, you're not supposed to just like face bash and you're not supposed to just face tank him if you're trading uh, Chalky. You're supposed to like kite him back, right? And then force. Essentially, you're short trading a lot until he's low enough to, you, to the point you can kill or where you stat check him, meaning that you're just stronger than him. Let me show you. So, for example, 
people were complaining the other day about like me beating up a Mordkaiser that uh, you know didn't know how to play too well, right? Look, all you gotta do is you walk up and then you wait for an ability. You can do this even with semi high ping too. You walk up and you just keep you know you keep trading with them. Let's see if we can let's see if we can make this happen again. I actually don't have this crush here, sadly, so I can't fucking do my little kite back shit. If I was able to get the second brush, I wanted to like replay that thing again. You're, su you're supposed to like be constantly cutting back, back and forth, back and forth. If you if you literally fight him when he has like too much armor and I'm, I'm just in general like a bit of damage, you die. Wow, what a pog play! What a pog play! I'm explaining. Ah. Uh You guys don't remember that um, that Darius matchup video I have on YouTube where like, I explained the matchup in detail? Where like I literally fucking let my the Darius almost kill me. Or like I just had like a really bad trade on purpose. That's what I just did, bro. I did it for you guys. So I can show you how easy or how hard you can get fucked. <laughs> Copium? Okay, watch. This next this next time, watch. Watch what I do with them. I'm gonna do optimized trading for you fellas, so you guys can know what to do. Look. Let me get my healing back, right? We're chilling. Mm-hmm. Hiding, see? Baiting. Hey! Master Fiend, come on, you got this. You can do it. Back out, back out, back out, back out, back out. Alright, we have we have a little party going on here. We have we have a fucking five man up here. I'm gonna let my boy Nunu die. I... What if I don't want to die? Good. They got. They got a little. They got a little smoked. Come on. I. I. I want to. I want to redo the fucking Mordkaiser thing versus this guy. Come on, Rumble. Let me. Let me do this to him. He wants to ult me so bad. By the way. What can you do when you're gonna leave and Mordkaiser says 50, 15 feet back? Uh, if the, if the Mordkaiser never wants to fight you early, when you're actually stronger than him, what you're supposed to do is what I did, where like you have wave control and then you, you impact the rest of the game. So it's more of like, you know, Riven's just a better champion than Mordkaiser, so you just win. If you know how to play it. You can't be more Kaiser. Okay, listen. It's this is this is a very simple concept. It's not about actually beating up or killing your opponent. If you have way priority and you're able to like impact the map, you're you're winning. Doesn't matter if you don't kill him or not. You're not supposed to kill him. You can't. It, it, it doesn't matter if you kill him or not. Killing is not something that displays whether you're winning or not. Also, um, 